Maxim Tmerkovsky, you've joined So You Think You Can Dance as a judge for its 18th season. Uh, well, first off, what made you decide to come on board this show? How do you say no? I mean, it's a, you know, it's a dream job uh, for a person who spent the entire time, you know, the entire life really dancing and on stage, life, whatever. You know, my, my beginning is fundamental. It's uh, it's com dance comp competitive ballroom dancing. Uh, my, you know, re sort of like second life, if you will, uh, is educational. I've led a dance studio of hundreds of kids, made world champions, national title holders, so on and so forth. My, you know, uh, I guess television life, you know, was my third sort of reincarnation as a dancer at that point i would have already been retired and kind of like you know studio owner maybe a judge in our world and all that but uh no dancing with the stars took over and next thing you know i'm a i'm a you know commercial dancer and i'm participating in other things and i'm you know dancing other styles and you know all of that stuff that happened so you know for me so you think you can dance is like it's just the next step. It's maybe the culminating moment. I don't know what the future holds, but I know that right now it is a pinch me moment every second of the way because I'm like, how did I end up here? This is perfect. This is exactly what I want to do. This is where I get to express my, you know, my thought process that I'm not just stand here and dance this and, you know, look pretty, don't say anything, please don't say anything, you know, uh, I get to speak. I don't know who made a mistake and gave me that position. So, you know, we see what happens, but in the meantime, I'm, I'm ecstatic. I'm like, you know, I'm beyond happy about the opportunity. I'm, I'm excited about the pressure of it. I'm excited about having to answer for, the years of criticizing other judges, you know, maybe for, you know, the, the, what I said about the industry in general and people that, that are taking, you know, coming up behind us and, you know, where this industry is going, you know, I'm a huge dance fan. I'm a fan of what we have done and how we exposed ourselves and how our, you know, opportunities nowadays to feed our families are different than they used to be. So, you know, I just want, I just want to be a part of a selection process of the next batch of dance pros that are going to be the next Max, the next Derek Hoff, the next, you know, be it a, 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 a movie star or a singer or a superstar singer. It doesn't matter. So You Think You Can Dance had helped launch dozens of careers of people that we have seen, that we know, that joined Dancing with the Stars as a pro that are now, you know, having the the life and are able to support their families through dance, which is something that we've never said before, before Dancing with the Stars and so you think you guys came here. So, you know, I just want to speak from experience, give my opinion and uh, and, and and back it up with, I, I say it because I did it. That's how it happened to me. Uh, and having been judged yourself uh, in your, uh, you know, career competitive ballroom dance, uh, Dancing with the Stars, of course, uh, like, what is your approach to, uh, uh, you know, critiquing and uh, uh, judging the dancers you see? Very unorthodox. My approach is if you did it, you know exactly what to say at any point. That you know, if you are, if you've, if you've done it, and you, I, I can lean into forty thousand hours of 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 working as a dancer. My first job was when I was fourteen, and it never stopped. Never stopped working. My brother and I celebrated last year twenty five years of making money as dancers. I mean, we've done it all, and so for me, you know, the preparation is in being serious enough about this process, you know, and being involved now. The preparation is is making sure that when I am required to speak on someone's performance, that it's not driven and influenced by other things, like by my life and things going on with me. That's responsibility. What to say when someone has just danced and you have to say what you think about it. If you need to prepare for that, then you're not good for the job. You know, be, you should have been that good at this job that your visual 
you know, the back and forth is instantaneous because you have actual uh, degree, if you will, in, in, in being that person. So I'm looking for, forward to being that guy. You know, I'm over prepared for this. I'm blessed to have this opportunity. Uh, and, uh, and yeah, I just want to represent everyone out there who, you know, who really had rolled up their sleeves and have them, and, and I have not rolled them down for the last 25, 30 years. So, you know, let's, let's go. Let's, if you're the next young, you know, professional who wants my position on dance with the stars, who wants my opportunities, who wants what Derek and I have from what Val Chmikovsky achieved, what you know, other dancers have achieved with the 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 the, the Barishnikovs of this world and all that. I and I certainly am not putting myself in category with anybody. I'm just saying, you know, show me what you got, and I'll tell you how it really is. Um, and you know, the format of the show uh, this season is also going to kind of reflect that uh, idea of uh, taking on a career in dance, and we're going to get to see. Uh, the dancers put in different uh, positions and opportunities that they might have uh, throughout a, a dance career. What, what do you think about that 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 format and and giving the uh, contestants a taste of that uh, right from the get go? Brilliant, brilliant. The whole the format here is supposed to be uh, about the champion who is able to get any job right away, you know, and the person needs to be a a, a, a an incredible addition to any uh ensemble uh it has to be a, a someone who is immediately given a spotlight it has to be the, the best mover physically the best um team member the best part of you know the the what you know the, the it's a link in a chain situation you know what i mean so you can be incredibly talented but like just horrible person to work with you know, and so we are. We need to be able to detect that. We need to be able to say no. It's the this the gate where we're the gatekeepers here. You know, and you can't go through just because hey, I'm the best. Kick the door open. No, you're not. You also need to be a great person. You need to be a great individual. You know how many times somebody incredibly talented would never get a job because they're just a POS type of person. You know what I'm saying? Like they're just not somebody you want to be with. How fast? is the project going from a dream opportunity to nightmare because two people or, you know, out of 12 aren't what you want to be with, you know? So we want to find the, we want to find the best dancer, the best commercial dancer, the best person, part of personnel, the best someone who's going to be also an influence. Like it's just a lot of responsibility. Uh, what do you think are the most challenging things about a uh, career in dance that maybe, you know, if you're coming up, you might not expect? Being able to maintain your physicality. You know, it's like Mike Tyson said, everybody has a plan till they get punched in the face. You know, uh, everybody wants to be a professional dancer till that knee hurts. What happens when the knee hurts? What about when your ankle starts hurting? What about when you wake up in the middle of rehearsal week? And you can't move out of the bed, and you're about to have a 12-hour rehearsal for the for the next dance. You know, I as someone who's, you know, we Val and I do a namesake tour, and you know, the the process of putting uh, a 62 show uh, tour on stage is two weeks of Olympic training. I mean, you got to be ready for that. And if you're someone like me, you already have a family. You already have responsibilities. You already got bills to pay. And you also need to make sure you turn that part off because you got to refocus on the 12 hours of extremely grueling physical activity with most of the cast that's half my age. Do you hear about that when you come up as a dancer? No, you do not. <laughs> you know, this is something that you need to understand. This this training and then you're, you know, and then life gets added to it. You know, and that, and and it really does separate, you know, the ones who were meant to be here versus the ones who you sh this isn't your profession. You know, this might not be for you, even though you are an incredibly talented body wise person. So there's a lot. There are a lot of things that I I get to tell from experience and point at when that experience happened because don't forget a lot of my stuff happened publicly you know so I, I i'm not lying it's really out there you know i did do that 
mistake. And I'm here to tell you that that was a mistake and here's why, you know? So um, I'm excited. I'm excited to be that, that person for these young kids. Um, and having performed uh, live on television, uh, you know, what, what advice would you give uh, these dancers who may not have had that kind of like spotlight on them to a national audience? Seize the day, damn. The opportunities don't come. Uh, it's not a given, it's not a guarantee. And when they come, you better take it. You, you, I mean, you grab it, you take it, you hold on to it and you give it your best. Uh, we did not select any, not one person in that top 10 who wasn't just mind blown to be given an opportunity, you know, and they were phenomenal. All of them are phenomenal dancers phenomenal and they're all just oozing with ex with excitement and that's what you want that's that's the group of people that i want to be put against each other like let's just let's see that show they all want it you know and uh, and we're gonna guide them that we're gonna guide the hell out of them they're gonna be amazing i cannot wait for everybody to see that time um, now, in addition to this, uh, this past season, you were also on uh, Dancing with the Stars briefly uh, to uh, pay tribute to Len Goodman, um, you know, in a routine that was actually choreographed uh, by uh, your brother and uh, sister-in-law. Um, what was that experience like and, and, and what did, you know, as a judge, Len mean to you? I mean, I, I, I said it in one of these interviews, like, what's your judging style and i'm like you know i can't i hate to be but i can't help but be compared to land probably you know and 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 i'm gonna embrace it I, I i definitely am looking at some of the stuff that he's done and the way he's done it uh it, it doesn't doesn't mean that i that i all of a sudden change my mind i agree with everything he said that's not the point the point here is the way you consistently carried yourself the way you presented yourself the way you you stay consistent with the content that you were saying yeah i mean that it it you know the hats off to 20 some you know plus i mean i don't even know how many seasons he's done together with the british format and everything that he's done over in england so you know it's the it's the career to in 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 panelist that i i want to strive for I am a person that once I get an opportunity, I wanna I wanna go for it, for for it. And so the opportunity now is to sit and speak. I'm gonna look at the best that who's ever done it. He's definitely the best to ever do it in our industry to date. Maybe I'm next. We'll see. Ten years from now. Um, and you know. In your experience, uh, teaching dance uh, and 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 going through the dance world now, uh, in in your experience, has Dancing with the Stars and So You Think You Can Dance have these shows really brought a lot more people into the you know into dance as an art form than might have been in it otherwise? Absolutely. I mean, we 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 definitely created a, a platform for dancers to look at this as a career. Um, I was a coach to many kids who, you know, would come with tears and, and say bye-bye to this when they were turning 17 because they were going to colleges and universities and they were fulfilling their obligations to the parents, you know, the, the parents and families and all the stuff. Like, certainly our mom still to this day, <laughs> it doesn't matter what we've done and how many trophies we have. Val and I don't have a college diploma and it's still like, you know, biggest failure in her life. I'm, I'm being facetious, but you know what I'm saying? There are some old school people. And so uh, so you think you can dance and there and after that dancing with the stars in terms of the hierarchy of, of how you get there uh, had become a career path, you know? And if you strive for dancing with the stars, even if you don't make it, you go through the gauntlet of so you think you have a career. Even if you don't make top 10 and so you think you can dance, there are names today in singing and in acting who are mega stars who went through the So You Think You Can Dance, just the audition process. They never got on television. So it definitely catapulted a lot of people's careers. It gave people and kids an opportunity to look at it and say, no, you know what, mommy? 
I'm not going to go to college. I'm going to give this a, an opportunity, you know, and don't take it as my opinion of the right thing to do or not to do. It is important to have opportunities in all forms of life, right? And so to have an opportunity to be, to feed your family and to have a beautiful life and still maintain your dance, you know, your dance, that's that's incredible. So, you know, I, uh, I'm very proud to have been part of that. And I'm proud of to have been part of both shows now who were in, you know, instrumental in that type of setup for our industry. Well, I want to congratulate you on on your new gig uh, on uh, So You Think You Can Dance. Uh, and uh, thanks so much for, for chatting with me. I, I look forward to uh, seeing you this season. Thank you. Looking forward to, to polite criticism on my job. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, well, uh, again, thank you for talking thank to me. It's been, it's been great. Thank you so much. I'll see you. Bye-bye.